as per SA 250, auditor will perform the following procedures. He should first verify the policies and procedures implemented by management for compliance with laws and regulations, for prevention and detection of non-compliance with laws and regulations. If internal controls are implemented, they are effective, then the possibility of non-compliance is reduced drastically. Further, auditor should verify the orders received from regulatory and enforcement authority. For example, if an order is passed by appellate tribunal, then if auditor verifies such order, he will get audit evidence regarding non-compliance or compliance with laws and regulations. Auditor should verify the minutes and resolution book of board of directors meeting as well as shareholders meeting. Such review will provide him with new insights regarding recent cases, litigations or pending claims. Auditor should obtain an written representation letter from management stating that management is responsible for compliance with laws and regulations. Further, management has communicated to auditor all non-compliances which were detected by them. Auditor should inquire and discuss with management regarding the financial reporting framework which is applicable to the company. He should verify whether management has taken steps to comply with the FRF. He should also verify the internal control policies and procedures which are implemented by management for identification and evaluation of pending litigation and claims. If as an auditor you perform these procedures, you will come across a lot of cases where there are non-compliances. Still, if you are not satisfied as a matter of last resort, you can request management to allow you to communicate with the lawyer of the company. Because the lawyer of the company will be updated with all the matters of litigation, claim, etc.